Hi guys, um, here on the table is my brown paper. Um, I'm going to be explaining to you how to make a princess dart, not the princess dart but steer. Uh, about the princess dart but steer, I'm going to be linking that to this video on how to make your princess dart but steer for those of you having issues with it. I'm going to be linking the video to this video. Alright guys, before we start this video, um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, like this video, and then follow us on our Facebook channel, Cute Looks. And then, here we go. So this is it, guys. I'm going to be making a half length and show you how to make your princess that. You can also use this idea to apply on when you're making an, a, a blouse or you're making a jumpsuit. But this is a regular princess that's not the one of the bust here. Like I said, I'm going to be linking that one. So I'll go straight to the point. Here, um, the ha half length of this person says 17. I have here. Um, this is my 17 here. I'm going to mark my 17 all the way up. This is my 17. And so I ruled out my starting point where my measurement will start and this is my 17 inches for my half length. I'm going to roll it out like this. And yes guys, so many of you know that I slant my shoulder with one and a half inches. So I don't joke with that one and the half inch that will be going off. I must add it to my measurement so I don't have shortage. So this is my half inch that is going to be leaving my shoulder area. And then I'm going to be adding one inch up here to hold the shoulder and to hold the half length. So this is more like one and a half inches up here. Let you see. As you guys already have my one and a half inch all the way to that point, I'm going to rule it out like this. Then connect it here. So this is where I'm going to have as my starting point on this, so it's very easy for you to understand. So in total of what I have here will be 18 and a half inches. So when I slant my shoulder with half, I'm going to be having one inch have to sew here, have to hold the shoulder to fall back to 17. So that's it. I'm going to be taking my shoulder measurement that says 17 because this is going to be an armless cloth. So I'm going to be marking my 17 here. I'm going to be taking my one and a half inches, which I already have here. So I'm going to be slanting down to this point, my center point. This is the center point of my back. And then I'm going to be taking my neck measurement of four inches here. So around this point, I'm going to be taking my armhole measurement, which is going to be directly eight. Because when I sew with half, I'm going to be having seven and a half because I need to work with seven and a half inches. But I need this extra half to hold my shoulder. So I'm taking my seven and a half inches as well here. So I can connect with my shoulder, my seven and a half inches. So I'm going to connect my shoulder to the armhole. So this is it. This is my armhole line. I'm going to be taking my chest line. I'm going to be taking my boss length here ten and a half inches i'm going to rule it out if you're going to be having issues to meet up with this point don't worry at this point where you have here you gently take your one and a half inches all the way here so you see you won't be having issues at all and then you connect it that's it so I've gotten my boss point. I'm going to be taking my under boss, which is going to be giving me one, two, three, and half. You see what it's giving me? Can you see? So I'm going to be rolling here. So if you will be saying why didn't I put the nipple points before the underboss? That's because I don't need a nipple point. 
so I didn't add my nipple point because I will not be needing a nipple point what I'll be needing is my dart measurement a like I said if you're connecting to the down part of your clothes and um, you're having three your dart measurements that's the wideness of your darts which we always use with our nipple to nipple is seven inches that's three and a half inches plus three and a half inches is giving us seven we always add half inch to help us sew back so this is my four at most times that standard we use four depending on the body size of the person and the nipple to so nipple point of that person so this is it i'm going to be having my four inches ruled out straight down to the waistline and so i have my measurement here i'm going to start taking my body measurements now i'm going to come to the boss line my boss line says 40 which is 10 here i'm going to be adding three inches to this oh let's just say not three inches at most times you use three inches so that you can have your sewing the ease and seam allowance that's one one inch added to each part of the body and then around the under bust you don't need a measurement there this is where you need the measurement our waistline says um 36 i'm going to be measuring 36 when i divide it into four it's giving me nine inches so i have it down here i'm going to be taking and one inch for that i'm going to be taking the inch to hold back then i'm going to be taking my one and a half inches down here so so because at most times there's one funny thing about the uh, princess that when you finish sewing it around the waist angle you find out that the waist angle is a bit shortened off so when i for me to escape such kind of trouble leaving my one inch here doesn't cost me anything so that i can connect real good you see how beautiful the connection will look very cool right but most times you find that it's always giving you funny looks when you're done sewing so i end up doing this so i'll be on the safe side it's still not looking bad too so i'm going to leave it this way so when i'm done sewing if i have my ss all i have to do is go back to my table trim off my ss be on the safe side close the clothes and we're good to go so around this angle where i have this my one inch here which is the waistline i'm going to be taking half here and half in so you see we have in our three inches three and a half inches here can you see it so while I take this off I'm st I'll be having three and a half inches it's not serving me at all this point very very need to be very careful around this angle you can see it's not serving me at all so this measurement I have here is not working for me at all so instead of me having just my four inches because some of you will say, I used my three and a half, I used my four inches. And then at the end, I got three and a half inches. And when I finished sewing, I got three inches. It's not corresponding to the down. That's the reason why I'm going to make this line another one again. So you see, I'm having three and a half inches here because I marked out four. Like we always have our regular. So we say, just place four, just place four. No, four is not the standard measurement for it. You can switch it. Instead of having your four, why not place it four and a half inches? So I'm going to be taking that four and a half inches all the way here. So I'm going to be rolling out the accurate line you really need for this work. So this is my four and a half inches here. Now watch it. Instead of your four and a half inches, I'm taking half out and I'm having four to go. So when I sew with half, I have my three and a half inches to go. Can you see that? So I've taken my half inch in here I'm going to be taking another half here as well which is still here to work for me so when I take this off this will hold back and this will close the body of the clothes so I don't need to work anything here around this boss line here you can see it instead of leaving it at this four and a half I'm going to be adding one inch extra that's where I have my five five can you see it so I'm going to be doing just this I'll take my dart length I'm using five and a half inches for my dart length because even if I'm working with the nipple point of 10 I see it's not reaching my nipple point area can you see so I'm going to be doing this 
around here and this here to connect to this half inch here can you see so i'm going to be coming here around this angle like i have in my video of the princess that's bust here there i use five inches you can use five inches around there no doubt you can also use four and a half inches around here so i'm going to be using four and a half inches here and then come down here to mark here and up as well because it's a dot so i'm going to turn this up real good and take my hand all the way up all the way up sorry and i'll do this And then here I'm going to be adding one inch, just one inch. So from this one inch, I'm going to be doing this, this, and then take it down to the armhole here, take it up. Then from that point again, can you see here, I'm going to come this way again and do this. So it does not fall on this point and I'm going to take this up can you see if I'd use this it will not come out well so it's going to go up a little and this will come this way because it's a dart not a bolster if it were the bolster I'll start covering this whole angle so I'm going to cut this out so you see what it looks like but before that I'm going to be taking my neck measurement out I have my four inches to open up the neck for the wideness of the neck and I have five inches for the depth of the neck you can use three by three depending on how high you want the neck to be but I want four by five so I'm going to be curving my neck out now and then shape out the body so this is the neck area yep so I'm going to be cutting out this part out Basically, having this and then out. Can you see it? I'm going to be having this. So guys, can you see you don't have issues with it anymore? Very easy for you to do. Can you see? Can you see the connection and the corresponding? So when I connect this, you see I'm falling back at my eights around the armhole line. Can you see? So when I sew it half, it will still come back. Can you see? So when I hold it back, the armhole will short. Can you see? So I'm going to be coming down here to dip in my armhole. And then we're good to go. So guys, this is it. You make sure you put your material on fold, notch the center so that when you're connecting the down part, everything corresponds real good. You can see there's a difference between the princess that's bustier and the regular princess that we have on some English clothes we see when we finish sewing. So guys, like this video, drop your comments, turn on the notification bell, subscribe, follow us on our Facebook page. Um, that's it on this. I'll see you in our next video. Thank you for joining us this one. Bye, guys.